Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Oldjack, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and we have a situation here where a series might end tonight. Put yourself in the position of the team facing elimination. They're away from their home fans. Can't be easy. It is not, Doc, and, and I think talking to the team and the coaching staff is that I think that they're in a pretty good place. They realize that there is no tomorrow, and sometimes players... The teams are ready, and so are we. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Emmerich. This playoff game is underway. That shot hit a man. Indianapolis in control of the puck up the wing. In stride, he picks up a perfect pass through center. Snaps off a wrist shot. Oh, what a great block. And he steps across the line. Let's it go. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Toledo's got a defensive zone win. Walleyes in their own end and has possession. Strong wrist shot. No! What a chance! You want to score goals, you got to get to the front of the net. And that's exactly what happened. But unfortunately, just shot the puck over the net. Good job with the poke check. A whistle and a rest. Quick shot. Marvelous control. He kept it in. Just a backhand. Toledo's got it in the defensive zone. Moved along and in. Oh, that one went in off the defense. My, oh, my. Yeah, and so those are the most fun goals to score, aren't they? Up over the goalie's glove side, make you feel like you've made a pretty perfect shot. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. And they take that neutral zone face off. He's got it. Oh, and he is drilled. Broussard's arrived at the rink in a bad mood. That didn't take him very long to get physically involved in a game that should be aggressive throughout. It's dumped in. That one goes back in where a goaltender can make this play, not a defenseman or four. Shot. Terrific shot, but a great point-blank save. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Big chance here. He scores! Broussards to Kenley, put him in that position to beat the goaltender with the forehand. Oh, you're right, Enzo. That's an unbelievable move by the forward. But the goaltender seems mesmerized by it, too. Now he can pick the puck up out of his net. A little under nine minutes have been skated here in the first. Toledo's advantage in this game has just been enhanced. It's a pair of goals. Shoots. Oh, what a save. He brought his best shot, and it got stopped. Toledo's got two on this one for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Fuel's power play opportunity number is one. Great stick save. The key to their power play is to support all over the ice. You got it, Eddie. Let's see. The power play is just about to begin. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Indianapolis will play it from their own end on this power play. And a save! Fuels in control of the puck in their own end and readying an attack. Into the end of attack. You could almost count that one, but no. Oh, what a move! 
Oh, what a wonderful block that was. What a strong wrist shot. Wonderful work and goal. Terrific shot. This is great team offensive play. Scorches one. Looking for room. Big save. This is overwhelming. Back to the blue line. It's redirected. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. He is shut right off. You're not going to see a better hit than that, Doc. He laid the shoulder right through him. Great pad stop. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. And he takes the heat off by clearing. Toledo's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. Really good work by the penalty killers there. They were all over the puck. They moved in. Outstanding save, and another save there. It's an onside play. Save! Snaps a wrister. Deflected off the blocker. Indianapolis, in their own end, has possession. And he carries it through center. Shoots it on. Punched away. Let's it fly. Let's it go. He scores. Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. Over four minutes to go in the first. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. Four by number 55, A.J. James. Indianapolis has control of the puck at center. Shoots one. That one just hit the post. Right in front. Score! Another step in the road back. They're down by two. Neal's body position was key to be able to snap this one home. The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Edzo. Good delivery of the puck beats him on the low stick side. Face-off win. Let's see what develops. Michael Neal, assisted by number 23 and by number 3, Zach Miskovic. Time of the goal, 17 minutes, 2 seconds. Picked up. Fires. Pad save. Ooh, tough one there. Shooting. In the corner. Kicked away. What control. Oh, and a save. But covered. Whistle blown. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Solid, clean win. Indianapolis lugging the puck in their own end. Gains the blue line. Brings a shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all... Score! Not much time left, but enough for that one. That puck looked like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. And that's the end of the first period. So much fire wagon hockey, you can see the Dalmatians. High scoring, high energy, lots of goals, but just a one-goal lead.
fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. And the regular season ticket price for rounds one through Underway in period two. And in flight over the line. Good save there. Terrific job in holding the puck in. Got the pad on it. No shadow of the boards here. And the pickup. Walleyes moving the puck through center ice. He drives toward the slot. In the slot, he scores! Toledo's got a two-goal lead now. Still in the second period, lots of time to build on that. And the face-off's won. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Can't get it on net. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you got to hit the net in this situation. With a strong wrist shot. What a save. I was looking for the light to come on. Broussard's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Nice face-off work. Great take, dangerous area. Score! A pair of goals by the same team. Toledo's got a large lead in this game. Let's see if they can build on it or whether they'll start to get conservative. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Toledo's looking to head man up the wing. Let's it go. Went to the backhand. Save. Indianapolis in possession as they go through the neutral zone. Let's it go. Good save there. Pass goes up the wing to Brassard. Gets in and he'll look over his options. Jenks just doesn't seem to be able to be denied tonight. He's been save. It's a good pickup. Indianapolis moves with it up the wing. Toledo's finding its way to center ice. Up the wing and moving well. He's in! Chuck that right away. Indianapolis has been pummeled throughout the majority of this game. Their goaltender has absolutely saved them. They just can't skate with their opponent. And he dumps it in. Indianapolis on the move now on their own end. Two guys together with force. Big force. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Fires! Save! Gains the zone. Breakaway! He scores! That's three in a row. He looked to be cherry-picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. Low stick side used to be an area that you shot all the time, but now that the goaltenders are in the butterfly, it's not as easy to beat, but this one goes through them pretty quickly. Under eight minutes to go here in the second. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Decides he wants the corner. And a save. Two sticks together, they cancel. One into another. The game is picked up physically, Doc. That is a solid hit. That sends a message. Gains the zone. Terrific shot, but a denial. Score! And that's four straight goals. Goalie made the initial stop, but he followed up on a second chance, and he beat him. 
That looks like it almost went right through him, Edzo. Just above the pad, he's in the butterfly. It's on the low glove side. It's a save a goal he should make. Walleyes connected yet again on the scoreboard, and they'll probably get the puck right back the way this game has gone. Cool. They've got cool. the draw. Pitch back into the offensive zone. Indianapolis in their own end on the move now. Drag between the blue lines. Pucks loose, denied by the roadblock. Toledo setting things up in the defensive zone. Fires! And a save! In the slot, he scores! to have puck support like that you got to move your feet move the puck move yourself and you're going to be rewarded with a goal and so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter you still have to move he looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move bad guess Toledo's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter and a full third period and a chance to enlarge it Walleye setting it up as they move through center. Andy slips it back in. Directing that one to Neal. And they are in. Breakaway! What a save! A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Toledo's been an offensive juggernaut led by this player who has among the highest points totals in the league. He's a dangerous player Remarkably skilled on the power play. He gets that pass ahead in stride. Nicely into the zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Broke it up well with Polchak. Toledo's looking to head man up the wing. Flips that wrist shot. Oh, a save. Walleye's players are cutting a wide circle around him these days. They don't want to throw his routine off. It's amazing how superstitious players can get. And when you have one that's on such a significant point scoring streak, nobody wants to upset the apple cart. Let's a shot fly. Indianapolis recoiling back in their own end. Referee over to the penalty box, and let's find out. Brassard's headed to the penalty box, a minor for tripping. Quick work on the faceoff. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Every playoff game, our team score. 40 minutes down, at least 20 minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Walleye's coaching staff, Doc, told us before the game they want to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on the scoreboard. They are well in control of this game. Let's see how they play it the last 20. Indianapolis leaves the defensive zone. Fuels controlling play now at center ice. Turn the wrist shot. Save. Dished off by the goalie and almost into trouble. Gets across, looks over his options. Great save. Oh, he staggered it. Puck loose now picked up. Blocked away. Broke that play up at center. Can he make him chase it? Toledo's up the wing settling things. Picks it up in his own end. They must retreat and start back again. That's the way to make him pay. Thought he had 10 feet of... He's alone! Stared him down and made the save. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Freezes play. Defensive zone win. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. 
Toledo's. Survived it. Back even. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Great stick there. Moving it to Brassard. Gets in. What'll he do? A terrific scoring chance denied. He's got it. Perfect pass. Cut the ice in half. Breakaway chance. Great poke check. Punched away. Smart recovery by Broussard. Loose puck. Good defensive denial. Carried in, and they've got him out, man. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Can't get a shot on. And he throws it in. Hopes of getting it back. They've got it again. Wow, that's got to be a call. That's got to be a penalty. And that's got to be an eight. The bell and round one. Oh, that was not a good hit at all. Now somebody's coming to the aid of the fallen teammate. The two players are down on the ice, and this fight has ended. I think both these players, Doc, realized this fight was coming to an end, so they just grabbed onto one another. Well, there's no way they're going to come back now. They're going to try and exact a pound of flesh here. Penalty, oh, quick off the draw. Thrown in. Decides to head for the corner. Score! He's got his second! Toledo's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Walleyes in control, control of the puck and neutralize. Knocked right off the stick. Right near the line. Wonderful save. Indianapolis in their own end, shifting from defense to offense. Snaps it on goal. One, he scores! Second of the game! What a performance! Toledo's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Try to clear the puck. Cleared back out and so they can get to the bench for a change. Toledo's execution offensively has been outstanding this evening. They've gotten to the front of the net, they forechecked well, cycled the puck, and controlled the play for long stretches of time. Indianapolis in control as they travel up the wing. That play went offside. Guys, this is something Edzo and I never did too much of, but when the fight was won, the emotion down on the ice here changed from one bench to the other. Just over eight minutes to be played in the third. When your car gets beyond four tires, I guess you can take a blowout. I don't know if we can take this one much longer. Looking to Neil. Gets in. What'll he do? Shoots. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. The goalie makes himself look big. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Around through the corner. Great save. Puck grab, they've got it ready. Oh, what a save that was. Huge hit, possession's gone. Almost out of nowhere, the defender steps into him. That hurts. Fires. Lifted back out so they can hustle to the bench and get fresh troops out there. The poke check worked. That one dropped back into the opposite corner. Round through the corner. Skate kick out of the scrum. Indianapolis has it in their own end. Nicely into the zone. Fires. Shoots. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Dumped in by Brassard. On to Neal. 
pushing it on up the wing. Tries to get it on net. Oh, stick save. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. The goalie's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest. Stopped just about everything. And as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Back on his stick. That's a good solid poke check. And now it's directed to Brassard. Let's it go. Got a piece of that one. Indianapolis charges ahead to center ice. Slides it to the point. Nice keep at the blue line to keep the attack going. Wonderful block. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Decides he wants the corner. Pass cut. Fuels carrying it in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Schmitz is sent to the box for tripping. Penalty to number 17, Paul Schmitz. Two the end of the game, the end of the series, but more ahead for the winners. than seeing your hope shattered like this. This is not the time to analyze it. That comes later. The handshakes are first. It always amazes me at this time of year how they can change from disdain to calm congratulations. Tradition. The tournament moves along with even more promising matchups in the future. Don't miss those. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying so long for now.